should I buy a house? That's everybody's saying that right now with the rates being high, I'm renting, you know, what are the pros and cons of renting versus owning a home? That is super simple. Obviously, if you're renting, you're just giving the money to the landlord, you're paying their mortgage. So if you're paying $3,000 a month for rent, why not buy a house and you're renting? Some people have roommates, they tell me, okay, well buy a house for three, you know, your payment's 3,000 a month and get your roommate to move in with you. That way you're now the landlord and having someone pay for your house. Or if you have a family, you know, and you're starting out and you want to have a house with a yard, et cetera, that's one of the reasons you would buy. So pros and cons, if you rent, you're relying on your landlord to fix things. You know, you're throwing, I don't want to say throwing your money away. You need somewhere to live, but with the rents, they're at their highest peak ever. So a lot of people are saying, why shouldn't I buy? Well, it is a good time to buy. Number one, we can do what's called a two, one buy down. So current rate, I just had a client I quoted putting 20% down on a single family home. The purchase price is 375,000. She's gonna do a two one buy down where the seller pays about $6,989. That's gonna be a seller credit for a two one buy down. That's how it's gonna be listed on the contract. So my client's payment will be almost $400 a month lower for the first year and then about $200 lower for the second year. Then in year three, it's at the rate, the normal rate. So if she didn't buy down the rate, she would be at 6.99. But with the seller giving this 2-1 buy down credit, she will save a lot of money in the first two years of the mortgage. And then hopefully when rates go down in the next two years, we can refinance her maybe at that 5.99 or five and a half rate where that payment's lower for good. So there are certain ways that we can get you in, keep you comfortable with your payment and also in some instances, this is a tax deduction for you. There aren't many tax deductions and people are not even thinking about that. I just talked to a client, she had no idea that her mortgage payment now would be tax deductible. And once I showed her the savings that they'll have from the tax write-off, the payment was so much more comfortable for them because they didn't realize they were gonna get about $10,000 back for owning the home. So if you have questions on you know, should you buy, how do you keep your payment, you know, as low as possible. And credit is so important. It can mean the difference of two, $300 a month in payment, a 780 credit score versus a 680 credit score. So create a plan, make sure you start saving, make sure that your credit is going to be as high as possible so you get the best terms. So if you have any questions or wanna have a credit check done or apply and get prepared to buy, you don't have to buy immediately, but if you have a plan, we can help you get there, even if you're looking in the spring of next year. So feel free to reach out to me with any questions.